You know, guys, we spend a lot of time talking about the big players that we have on the first team. I thought that we could do something maybe a little bit different today. I thought maybe it would be a good uh, chance for us to take a look at some of the better players that are on the under-19 team here for Augsburg. These are the players you usually don't see. We usually don't feature these guys that much until they figure out a way to rise up to the top club. Now, given the fact that we have a whole bunch of very young, legendary players up at the top, there's a chance that some of these guys might never come up. But uh, some of these guys are quite good, and I thought that we might as well take the uh, chance right now to talk about some of them. We have a lot of players here on this Augsburg under-19 team, as you can see. The four guys I wanted to talk about especially today, though, and hopefully I don't get their names too wrong. First is Juan Cardona. Juan Cardona, 15 years old. It'll take a second for him to load up. Here he is from Colombia. Juan Cardona plays as a right winger. And is one heck of a player, as you can see, with very, very good ratings in just about everything. And... A estimated value of between 30 and 50 million but if you think he looks good here with his attributes you should take a look at how he plays it's quite a crowd scene in the middle now takes control of it the set piece they have here Totally got a step ahead of everyone else then. We already knew what he was Next up is the Tunisian Fauzi Shakiri. Fauzi Shakiri, a defensive midfielder and also uh, capable of playing in midfield. Also worth around 30 to 50 million. He might not look like much, but when you see him in action, you'll be surprised that this guy is playing defensive midfield. Well weighted. Well weighted. Tries running with the ball at his feet. Threads one through. Oh, that's fabulous! Totally got a step ahead of everyone else then. He already knew what he was going to do with the ball. Next up, and this is the name I'll never get right. Spamandlad Chiloane from uh, South Africa. Chiloane, I hope that's how you say his name, <laughs> is another player who's absolutely decked out with totally off the charts attributes. Pretty good for a new gen, I would say. Uh, Chiolane is, uh, like the others, quite consistent, doesn't have those injury problems, has a whole lot of potential ability, and he plays both center back and, and uh, right wing. Now you'll notice here that he has a high acceleration and a high pace rating, which is something that's actually quite unusual for a player who plays center back, especially at age 15. I think that goal will give them great confidence now, though they can't afford to become complacent. And then, now, last but not least, we have another player who I'm not going to pronounce correctly. Itipol Reni. Reni. Renin. Uh, you can tell me down below how to say this. Uh, the player from Thailand who's 16 years old. A mere 123 pounds, only five foot seven, and he's again a defensive midfielder. I'm not sure how many defensive midfielders you want at five foot seven, but this guy has all of the attributes you want and then some. Again, he's fast. He has the ability to be even faster. Very high potential ability. A worth of 29 million to 50 million. And for a defensive midfielder, this kid knows how to score quite a few goals. I'd like to praise a, a nicely constructed move in goal, but it's hard to see past the, the many defensive frailties on view there. It was a sh Nicely worked. Did have a lot of movement ahead of him there. Clubbed clear. Plays it backwards. Oh, 
that was a great strike. He just gave the keeper absolutely no chance. And so there you have it, a quick look at uh, some of the better young players that we have up and coming here on Augsburg. We'll see if we can figure out other ways to feature these players as time goes on. I tell you, as much fun as it is to play with a bunch of legends and big names and football manager, there's nothing quite like playing with players who are not really fully developed yet, who are young and who you don't know very much about. These are the guys who are really fascinating. And these are the guys who are worth watching out for in the future. It might take us a little while, but we'll see what it takes to get these guys up and going into the first team. And I have a feeling that they really might surprise us in the future. Talk to you later. Bye.